that's the big moment. The tough leaner. Got it to go. What a play by Francisco Garcia. He likes the big moment. He likes the stage. He likes to perform with pressure. Certain players respond under pressure. Certain players fold. Sparks can't turn the corner. Garcia collides with a Kentucky player and goes down. Great job. Hey, Pastor Azabuki in Kentucky leads. Azabuki scores, but again, where's it all? The passing ability of Hayes. Yep. One of the better interior passes in America. The game clock wow. and the shot clock are dead even, and they're going to play. A block by Azabuki. It remains with Louisville. We don't want to go anywhere. We got nowhere nope. to go. Why don't we play double over time? Stick around. Triple over time. Look at the defense. Beat him and turn the spot. Drive him, beat him, turn him. Kentucky calls a timeout with 24 and a half seconds to go. Kentucky up one. Louisville ball. Back to the studio with Scott Reed. The shot clock says 24. They can hold for the last shot. Will it be Garcia? Well, you've got to put it in Garcia's hands, and he's got to try to penetrate. But remember this. You want to give yourself an opportunity right. for an offensive rebound. And the guy to watch on the missed shot would be Miles. Watch Miles. Miles on a missed shot. So many times I've seen that happen. He's got time on a clock. Dean in trouble gets out of it. The Cats trying to steal one on the road. O'Bannon is fouled and will go to the line. Hayes has been called for the foul and Tuffy Smith is irate. He used the clock in that last position. Got away with it, got the score. And it may not have mattered. He makes the first. He makes the second, Louisville by one. Kentucky's got timeouts if they want them. If not, they're going for the win right Sports here. Off a screen by Hayes, I'm going to get the timeout. Smart play. I really think right here you want your players to understand exactly what you want. Screen for Sparks using Hayes. Now here right now, there's the high screen. There's the high screen. You want an offensive rebound possibly, so you want to look at And Sparks... Has to call a timeout with 4.8 seconds to go. Fishing where they're at. They're going to get a shot, possibly. Here it is. Azubuki trapped in the corner. Gets trying out get, of it. Trying to get it back to Sparks, like I said. Oh, did he get fouled? They called a foul. foul. I, they called a foul. They called a foul. Oh, oh. They called a foul. They won the war. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I told you, watch the guy throw the yep. ball in bed. They'll get it back to him, and that's what they were trying to do. Unbelievable. This Sparks deflection. Now he's going to step back on the floor. Here he is. Now watch this. There's the contact. There's the contact. I don't think there's any doubt yeah. he was fouled. I don't think there's any doubt he was fouled. Mike Chibido with the call, and they're now going to the monitor, I believe. Tubby Smith to is the, being talked to by Gerald Boudreau. They're going in the morning to determine who committed the foul. That's right. Tubby Smith sending all of his players back. Doesn't want a foul. Sending them all back. Three shots for Patrick Sparks. That ties it. That gives him the lead. He's been super. Oh, the transfer has come up big. Six uh -oh. tenths of a second left, Dick. They're going to love him in Lexington. I think you got to put somebody on the baseline and just make sure he doesn't get a good look. There it is. Makes him move. It's going to be tough. Remember, the clock starts as soon as the ball touches the hand of a player on the floor. You don't want no foul here. You want no foul. Going to get a hand on.